Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for December the 15th to January the 15th, so mid-December to mid-January. If you would also like more detail and more depth about the reading, I would suggest that you look at your moon sign and your rising sign for added information as well to this reading. The first reading that I'm going to give is for Aquarians that are in a partnership, a marriage and or, rela and or relationship and see what's ahead for the next month, see what's happening with you. I've already laid out the um, spread for you so let's have a look at what's in store for you in the next month. Okay, what we've got here is, you know, what the situation that's around you is the Ten of Swords and that tells me because it's in reverse, um, there's issues still that haven't quite been resolved around you uh, as uh, you and your partner in the relationship, things that need to be talked about, need to be uncovered that are not being discussed, that are not being looked at. Uh, that needs to come forward, that needs to be looked at. I feel like this is with a, uh, a, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo um, that's around you. There may be some difficulty that you're experiencing, that's why you're not able to resolve a lot of what you're feeling. I feel like it's things that uh, you're experiencing things that you want to discuss but there's some difficulty in in discussing them in bringing them forward in talking about them okay because of course then you've also got the ace of swords and the ace of swords is about communication it's about uh, headspace it's about learning <clears throat> so there's something here that either you or your your significant other isn't taking notice of, isn't learning, uh, isn't wanting to communicate it. Is there's something there that is there's a blockage of some sort that there's not the lack there's a lack of communication there that needs to be brought up, that needs to be communicated. But there's some difficulty around that. There's some difficulty around that. Okay? There's some difficulty. And you know what that shows me is what's what is overlying all of that is that there is some heartache. There's some heartache or some sense of betrayal or some sense of lack of trust or uh, deceit. There's something there that is causing you emotional um, heartache is what I want to say heartache. Uh, it's a difficult time emotionally for you um, because of something that's around. This is something that's unspoken and it's probably something that's come in from the past because if I look at the past there has been some issues, there has been something that you've experienced in the past and you've tried to hold on to, you know, you've tried to keep it together, you've tried to hold on to uh, emotions but emotionally it was very, very difficult for you. There was some sort of loss or something that's happened in the, in the recent past that has caused you heartache, has caused you some sense of betrayal. It also involves a third person. Okay, it also involves a third person. So there's something there that's causing some sort of angst for you, Aquarius, uh, at, that you're having difficulty communicating. You're having difficulty to discuss. And so for you, you're not getting the closure that you need. Okay, you're not getting the closure that you need. What's coming up ahead there for you is the death card. The death card, death card is, is not about death of someone. I feel like the death card is the end of a situation. So... Um, there will be a closure. For some of you, it's actually going to be walking away from a relationship, okay, because of the difficulties in the communication, because of whatever it is that's gone on beforehand that you haven't been able to talk about. Um, it's, it's going to cause some sort of endings. It could, for some of you, be an ending of that difficulty, an ending of the lack of communication. You might find a way through that to communicate it. There is en this is a card of endings. So it, for some of you, it is actually the ending of a relationship. For some of you, it is the ending of the difficulty in communicating, the overcoming of whatever's happened in the past, uh, the overcoming of that, the ending of that, so that then there, there's movement, there's light. 
I feel like for all of you, I feel like that it's it's like um, what they're showing me here is it's like building up a blockage in a river. Okay, where you've built a wall, there's a block, there's either, you know, a tree's fallen or, or a stone wall's been built that banks up all the water. And to me, water is emotion and it banks it up. But the force of the water, of the stream, of the river pushes through that barrier and it will then burst. And so I feel like that's what's coming up for you. It's this inability to communicate, inability to discuss things, inability to talk about these things um, with this person that, that is a, a fire sign or is a very fiery sort of person, which is why you would have difficulty discussing it. Those banks are going to break. And the result is going to be, well, we're finally going to bring whatever needs to be discussed, whatever you're having difficulty with, we're going to bring it out and we're going to talk about it and it will repair whatever is going on. Or the dam is going to break, you're going to explode and that's enough and you're going to walk away from this situation. Okay? Okay, it is with um, someone that is a fire sign. I feel very much it is someone that is a very uh, is a fire very stubborn, very determined, um, very determined. Um, I feel like this person around you really wants what they want. They want it their way. They want that control, and you want you feel like you need to get back some of that control, some of that. You need to be heard, and you're not being heard. Okay, um, and I feel like for some of you, this person's really intimidating. It's really, really intimidating, which is not a good foundation for a relationship. Okay, so that may be the block of why you can't discuss things. Um, it's like you, you can't win, you know, you can't, you just can't win in that situation. Okay, you do find a way out of this though, because. Uh, it's either that you walk away and you feel like you've found yourself, you feel new, you feel like you can move on to the next stage in your life, or you do have it out with this person, you do have it out with you, with your partner and, and clear the air. And once you clear the air, everything settles back in and it's quite good. It's quite smooth sailing uh, because, you know, you, you, have, you may have fears and doubts, but there are no fears and doubts. So if you're worried about, if you have fears about opening that gate, and um, expressing how you feel, which is the dam that's burst, expressing how you feel, uh, don't because you've, you, your fears and doubts, that's in the position of fears and doubts and when it's the sun, there are none. There are none. It's about honouring yourself and saying what you need to say and clear the air. Okay, and clear the air. I feel like there's also uh, this person's around, which is, which is the uh, Queen of Cups, which is your Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, male or female around you. Um, it could also be you. It could also be you um, being the nurturer, being emotional, being emotional and really uh, coming forth with that being able to come to terms with your emotions, um, feel comfortable with your emotions um, and give openly and freely. So it could be that, could be, could be you. It could also be someone else that's, you know, I've got to say, somebody else that's coming into your life, somebody else that's around you, um, male or female, water sign, um, or has those really sort of liquid, fluid, Mm, qualities, you know, um, nurturing and open and giving, okay, could be that, let's see, I'll see what else I can get for you on this person, but I feel like there's this real need to clear the air this month so that you can move on, your relationship can move on, uh, whatever needs to happen needs to happen to clear the air because I feel like you've come to the end of you can't this, the way it is it's it's no longer satisfactory cannot continue in that fashion okay so yeah you haven't 
you know, this is sort of past. Um, it's not been great. It's not been as good as it could be. You know, it could. It's not been as good as it could be. It has. It's lost something there. Something's been lost. Okay, with you. Okay, it's it's. Um, you know, it's, it's time to make a choice, make a decision, do something about the situation. It's time to do something about the situation. And you've got this, you know, four weeks um, here where you're going to really feel like you need to speak up, that you need to make some changes, that you need to do some do some things, introduce some new ways of doing things, of um, redefining yourself. Being noticed, I want to say to you, being noticed, I'm here too, that sort of thing. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful for you. Can have some good outcomes. You've got the sun and you've got the world. Um, you know, I think to achieve those outcomes, Aquarius, you need to honour yourself. You need to honour who you are. Okay, that's going to be really important this month. Not being second best, but saying, here I am, these are my needs. I need to discuss this because there's been a build-up of hurt, of neglect, of betrayal, of, of things not going the way you thought they were going to go um, and that needs to come to an end so that in 2018 you uh, move on to greener pastures, things start to repair, okay, which is what is up ahead of you. So whatever it is you're having difficulty discussing, it really needs to be brought up to, into the open before it does explode and become much worse than it is, okay? So keep that communication channels open um, to bring in the wonderful energy that's up ahead for you, which will come through in January, okay? Which will come through in January. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a spread for all you single Aquarians out there, all you single Aquarians for the next month let's see what's up ahead for you as far as your love goes what sort of love is there going to be for you let's have a look oh beautiful well there certainly is there ah well you yes you've got the king of wands so that's you know Sagittarius Aries and Leo male female uh, around you and crossing that is the ace of cups so wow that's really happening it's really happening um, and it's going to be extremely I've got goosebumps very very passionate it's going to be very very passionate it's going to sweep you off your feet absolutely you're going to be swept off your feet um, Aquarius, single Aquarius I feel like it's just you're going to have a really hard time maintaining your balance, maintaining your footing, maintaining your common sense. It's just uh, collapsing into this wonderful, passionate, <laughs> passionate thing, you know. Wow. And it is what it, you know, it is what it is. It's just you're going to be so attracted. It's going to happen so quickly. It's just new beginnings. It's just going to bring everything into your life that you've ever wanted, um, which is coming up around you, you know. Fantastic. You know. Um, yeah, it's going to, so wow, another ace. It's going to stir a few things for you, though. You know, be, being Aquarian, you will want to, Work things out, get into your head space because that's where you live, you know, that's where you live. Um, and I want to say, you know, there's a there's a king of swords that's come up here too in the reverse. So um, is that someone from your past, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini or someone of those qualities, uh, a thinker, a writer, a, um, someone that's really practical? Let's have a look. That was very, um, very unsettling, um, argumentative. It just was really not falling into place. Whether he comes back for a revisit later on. Anyway, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so 
is this is this person male or female doesn't matter that it's a king a king is you know someone that's quite certain but also someone that's very very passionate you know Sagittarius Aries Leo or someone that is very passionate someone that is used to getting their own way someone that just sees you and makes a you know beeline for you is it very certain about who they want to be with there's just a real physical attraction a real physical attraction and that's crossed with this you know the the ace of cups which is new emotional beginnings new emotional beginnings new emotional doorways opening a new relationship so it's not someone that's from your past this is a new relationship that's coming for you okay and I feel like it comes very very quickly because underneath that is you know the the queen of wands very determined very uh, things happening very quickly very passionately um, and that can be male or female as well okay but that's what's going to be driving it that's what the energy that it's it's a the energy is electric I mean, and I'm absolutely they're just getting coming in here and making me feel that energy and it's exciting it's just and it's going to happen quickly for you it's just going to happen it's just going to happen and you know this temperance is upside down and I feel like for you this is going to happen so quickly that it's going to leave you reeling it's going to leave you well what's going on here what's going on you know this has just happened so quickly I wasn't expecting it I was not expecting it you know um, because in well you know we, if we visit the past it's it's things haven't really gone the way you've wanted in the past you've been there have been disappointments in the past but that's in the past okay so I'm not going to dwell on that too long because that's in the past let's just push that aside let's get it moving you know let's get it moving because this new relationship is just going to be everything that you've wanted okay it's going to be dynamic it's going to be exciting it's going to bring this richness into your life okay this this richness this uh, new beginnings this news these it's just a complete lifestyle change Dif different things are going to happen it's good things and I, I want to speak quickly because I feel like things are going to be happening for you very 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 quickly okay um, the resistance the battles that it's done it's over it's finished okay um, you've done well with that you move it on you know don't don't resist it okay don't resist it don't miss this opportunity don't miss this opportunity you need to embrace it and and move on you know you're going to feel like um, you know uh, you're going to want to do your little list pluses and minuses you know um, let's work this out it's going to keep you awake at night thinking you know should I do this how's this going to work um, you know um, so it will cause you to process to think about and review things you know but but you know I, I would just let it go it's new be it's a new beginning it's solid it's this is an earth you know the coins pentacles is an earth sign so it's about solidity it's about new beginnings it's about new ventures it's about getting out there and experiencing this new relationship and everything that it brings it because it will bring a lot of richness into your life it will add to your life it will bring richness into your life which is absolutely fantastic you know and then we've got you know coming up we've got this this um, king of swords and the king of swords to me Aquarius Libra uh, Gemini or someone that has those qualities okay so thinker is uh, someone from your past someone from your past is going to come back is either going to come back or is doing an awful lot of thinking about you and an awful lot of processing about you but if you know if, if there's some movement and there's some sort of reconciliation that they are wanting because they've reassessed what's gone on um, I would avoid it I would run the other way as quickly as possible because there's, there were a lot of conflicts a lot of conflicts let's do this I'm just I get so confused with this there's a lot of conflicts in the relationship and that hasn't changed it's not it's it's not about putting it to, back together and and trying to move it forward it's been it's done there it's going to be the same so that's not a good idea if someone from your past revisits you wants a reconciliation uh, 
run the other way. Don't even don't even go there. I think you stick with this new person because this one brings is it's absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, it's about newness. It's about taking action. So when you see this uh, new person, it's really about getting in there and taking the action, making the make, making the move. Don't sit back and think about your past, about past betrayals, about past things that have happened, past hurts. Uh, really, this is a new beginning. You've got the Ace of Cups. Go with it. And, and see it and take it on, on the value of this new relationship. Don't judge it by what relationships you've had in the past. Okay, really embrace it and bring it in. So that's pretty exciting for you Aquarius, single Aquarians. So I wish you all the best. I wish you a very exciting uh, four weeks, 2018. And I'll be back in mid-January for your next love reading to see how you're all going.